Well, hey everybody. Uh, today's project is uh, I need to take and cut down the arch insulation material. It's not insulation board, it's just insulation cloth um, for the arch. So uh, when I ordered this from Bill Mason, he had an option on his website that you could get this insulating material um, enough to do, uh, this is a two by four, and uh, he, he sent it in cut roughly um, to the right sizes. So what I just need to do now is I need to go around and get everything finished cut in um, and to get ready to put the fire brick. So to do that, I just have a razor blade here, this typical razor blade. Um, but before we use any razor blades, let's take a minute to talk about shop safety. Uh, I am gonna be wearing some cut resistant gloves because I have no desire to cut my fingers off. So um, I think what we'll do is is we'll just, we don't need any measuring tapes. Uh, you know, I don't like them anyway. Um, we're just gonna go in and, and start trimming around, mostly around the 90 degree corners where the paper meets the paper. Okay, so that was a lot simpler than I thought it would be. And uh, so what I just did was I just went around and anywhere there was a corner where two sheets met, uh, I just trimmed it up, make sure they were flush. And the reason why is because the next thing I have to do is to lay the fire brick in. And uh, basically this is what it'll end up looking like. Um, once it's bricked and of course you'll you'll want to cut the brick and everything um, the paper itself um, basically makes it so that the the arch itself doesn't get too hot to be around while you're working on your maple syrup the fire brick will keep the heat onto the pan and the white uh, insulation paper will help keep the stove from itself from getting too hot. So uh, next task would be to get the fire brick cut um, and, and laid in. I did just leave the paper just sitting. The fire brick will get, um, will get some mortar on it. Refractory cement is what they call it. But um, now I need to start laying out and overthinking. <laughs> <laughs> as is my style, uh, overthinking on about how I'm going to lay in the brick. Um, I'm going to start bricking around the grate part and then uh, we'll move up to the walls and then probably the last thing we'll do is the back portion. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope that was a mildly useful video for you. I, I searched around and, and couldn't find much on YouTube of, of this step, the actual papering step. Um, so hopefully if you got yourself a evaporator and, and you're kind of curious about how to do the paper, hopefully this helps you. So thanks for watching. Any comments or questions are appreciated and so would be a thumbs up and a subscribe.